everyone, and welcome to my beautiful Halloween, and welcome to the Four Realms. We found ourselves in the land of sweets for this look. This is my rendition of the Sugar Plum Fairy from Disney's The Nutcracker and the Four Realms movie. The Sugar Plum wears pastels, her look is light and sweet, very reminiscent of Marie Antoinette. Now if you guys are ready, let's transform into the Sugar Plum Fairy. With nail glue, I'm going to be popping on some pink press-on nails. I'm going to be priming my skin with a hydrating primer and applying that using a flat foundation brush. I'm applying a lip mask to hydrate and prep my lips for the look. With the washable glue stick, I'm going to be gluing back my brows, just rubbing the glue back and forth through the brows and applying a loose powder over top. I continue to block out the brows by color correcting and adding another layer of powder over top. I'm going to cover them up with a full coverage concealer that matches my skin tone and I'm giving that a good blend with the foundation brush. I'll be airbrushing my foundation for this look, and I'm using a shade of foundation that matches my skin tone. Here I'm setting in the brows once more, smoothing out that area and locking in the brow cover. With concealer, I'm going to add some coverage under my eyes and top that off with a bit of white concealer for brightness. I'm blending that out with a damp sponge. With white concealer, I'm going to prime my eyes for shadow later, and this will make the eyeshadows pop even more because it's a white base. Set all of the creams in place using a face powder. Now it's time for brows, and I'm using a magenta and white brow pomade to fill them in. I'm first filling in with the magenta shade and creating a round brow shape adding white stripes into the brow using an angled brush. In the Nutcracker movie, the Sugar Plum Fairy has brows that look like this, and to me they resemble a striped candy. I did use a concealer just to clean up the shape and thin out the brow. I'm starting out the eye look with a lavender shadow, and I'm applying that into the inner corners of my eye. I'm dipping into a bubblegum pink shadow, and I'm going to blend onto the lid and into the crease, as well as bringing that down onto the lower lash line. With a matte hot pink shadow, I'm going to blend into the crease and the lower lash line winging outwards. I'm mixing a white face powder with the hot pink shadow, and I'm going to apply that into the brow bone area. Using that same matte hot pink shadow, I'm going to contour all around the face, blending into the hollows of the cheeks, temple areas, tip of the nose, and jawline. With a matte hot pink blush, I'm going to deepen the outer corner of the eyes, fading into the temples. Here I'm lining the waterline with a white gel eyeliner, and this will make the eyes pop. I'm next going to be highlighting the face to add glow to the skin. I'm also applying the highlighter into the inner corners of the eye. I'm going to be spritzing my face with a makeup fixing spray, and I'm applying an iridescent glitter all over the face with a large brush. Now apply some black mascara and false lashes. To conceal the lash band, I'm using a black liquid eyeliner. With a black shadow, I'm going to deepen up the outer corners of the eyes and lower lash line. I also mixed in a purple into the black as well. I'm also applying more of the matte pink shadow into the outer corner and the lower lash line just to blend everything together. The Sugar Plum Fairy has pink lips, so here I'm applying a hot pink lipstick. I'm going to add some shading to the body with the matte pink eyeshadow, and I'm just adding color along the neck, collarbones, and shoulders. With a white face powder, I'm going to pale out the center of my chest and blend out some of that hot pink color. Here I'm using a loose highlighting powder to glow up the body and add shimmer. Mm -hmm. 
With the fixing spray, I'm going to spritz my chest and add iridescent glitter over top. Lock all of that in with a long-lasting setting spray. For this look, I styled a curly lace front pink wig into this beehive style updo, and this is as close as I could get to the same hairstyle the Sugar Plum Fairy has in the movie. With the comb, I'm going to be teasing those curls at the bottom of the wig. I'm using some purple airbrush hair color to mimic the color of the wig seen on the Sugar Plum Fairy, just adding the purple into the lower half of the wig only because that is where her hair is the most dark. Then applying some white temporary hair color at the top of the wig. And some pink airbrush hair color in the front of the bangs and in the middle section of the hair. To soften the color, you can just brush through with the comb and add more color where it's needed to achieve a similar look. Tinsel is also seen in the Sugar Plum Fairy's hair, so I'm adding in some gold tinsel at the top of the wig. Lastly, I'm adding on some iridescent glitter gel to the fingertips. This is the final Sugar Plum Fairy look. If you loved it, be sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you all for tuning in to my boo-tipple Halloween, and I'll see you next time.